let the games begin. Mate, the machines of East do not try to attempt to imitate. I'm a professional idiot. <laughs> I feel like I've lifted up a row of landmines. Yes! All right. Here we go. Big day, big day, big day, ladies and gentlemen. The house next door has been completely paused with progress because the digger broke down and we couldn't remove the tree roots. But a big shout out to Thomas Upton because the replacement is here. And just like that, Betsy 2, because <laughs> the other one was called Betsy. Betsy 2 is now in. Before you start going, you've ruined the grass. No, 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 no. You see from that tree point there all the way along, what we're gonna do is like rip up the dirt, plant seed down rather than putting new turf down, and then we'll have this all being a nice flush grass level. So yeah, time to get cracking. Um, it looks like the crack's getting much bigger, and I'm pretty sure these ones here as well kind of weren't there. Oh dear. We actually do have a major issue straight away. Tom Upton isn't here to uh, help, and the guy who's just dropped it off, um, uh, we've, we've never changed the buckets before ourselves so together we're hoping to do it boom and now he's on so rocking so rolling happy with that but what i've got to do is do some major major digging because these trees have actually got some major roots as you can see here exhibit a just running it along the ground I, I don't even know what i'm going to do about that one but yeah all the little ones i should be able to take care of so i'm just going to be busy digging away really slow and steady wins the race batman <laughs> i've been expecting you hello there alice sister i'm not gonna lie alice i thought it was gonna be a lot easier than this i thought it would just be dig out the trees but look how big the roots are on the trees yeah i have to dig them out because we need to plant the new trees in there like a little version of Clarkson's farm, isn't it? This is Tom's Tom's house next door. Not farm. Until I can buy a farm. And then it's Tom's farm. What did you do with all the... How did you do that? Broke all the stuff up? Well, if you would watch the vlogs, you would know. Wow. Oh, look at him. What an absolute blow. Alice, whatever I do in my life, I will never just be as much of a specimen of a man as this bloke right here. You were to fit that tap for 15 quid for me. <laughs> It costs a lot more than that. Right, let's go. Have you come here to do some archery? <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, I need you to do your job today. I'm not even giving context to why he's here. Right, listen, this is what I need. Hot water tap, go in near that one. Bob's your uncle, fan is your aunt. How long is it going to take you? At least half an hour. Is that it? Yeah. Jeez, I thought you were going to say like two hours. If you install this tap for me, yeah. I'll pay you the price you want. And you know what I'll even do? Yeah. I'll buy you a new pair of trainers. <laughs> These will be work ones. <laughs> In no way, shape, or form, if you just bought them. Genuinely, they burn out because if you like, you like this all day, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I burn them out. Oh my gosh, mate, I'm crying. Right, I'll leave you to it. So I've checked in with Tom Upton, landscape gardener from La Rose Landscaping, and asked if I'm doing the right thing, just trying to get around and underneath the uh, the roots. And he said, "Yep, that's it." He said, "Just make a big pile of dirt, and you'll be good to go." So. This is going to take absolutely hours. I was going to time lapse it, but it's going to take that many hours that there's just no point. Um, and we'll see what it looks like in the end. Oh, at least we're getting some progress. See this big old tree that I'm trying to dig out? Just wanted to see how loose it is. And if you pull it, you can see it's pulling on a root that goes underneath the fence. So we need to kind of like angle ourselves, dig around the back of it. And then we should hopefully be able to flip this thing out. Look at the size of some of these roots, man. God damn. All right, let's get that tree stump out of there. Yes! No way! We did it! Oh! Yes! Route number one is out! Well, it's down. It might not be out. It might still be tied in. Let's go! <laughs> I cannot believe I've done that myself. Oh my god. Let's go! Look at the size of that thing. That's the biggest root I've removed so far on the job. But oh, mate, the machine's a beast. Betsy, too, or whatever your name is. Let's go. We've dug down pretty deep to get that root out. But now, time to get rid of this one. Oh, this is going to be a challenge. What time is it now? It is quarter to, it's quarter to one. I guarantee this takes me like three hours. <laughs> to anyone who's a professional digger driver out there, Yes, I might not be doing it correctly, but I'm doing it 
and I'm having fun. So that's all that matters to me. Let the games begin. So as I'm backing up to like get ready to start digging that out properly and this out, I just noticed this big ass root, which I'm going to see how good my skills are at precisely trying to lift it out the ground. So I'm gonna set my camera up here and see if we can ping it out. Oh no, I thought it might just lift out the ground. Oh, it's split. Oh, there you go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like an alien. Woo Look at it attached all into the garden. And then it splits off here somewhere going this way. As you can most probably tell, I'm having way too much fun with this thing. Um, it's not a toy, so you know, the obvious disclaimer is there like, hey guys, anything you see me do, do not try to attempt to imitate. I'm a professional idiot, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like that should just go without saying in every single one of my vlogs. <laughs> anyway, we crack on. I can't believe it, Jeff. It's only five past one. Oh my, I think I've done it. Let's go. Oh my goodness. I'm a beast. Oh yes. All right, camera set up for route numero two. This is a big boy, this. Oh my Lord. I just don't think I'll be able to pull it out. There's so much clay on it. Oh no, it's heavy that. Whoa. Try and get some of the clay off the first. Oh. You bastard! You did a barrel roll. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't believe I've managed to pull that out of the ground. I am very. Very impressed with myself. Thank you. Route numero two delivered. I thought I only had that route, the big route, and then the mammoth route. But as I was wheeling along, found this one hidden under some shrubbery. So I'm currently trying to dig out that. But we've got news from the ginger man himself. Look at that. They're even level with each other. You love to see that. I've now got an outside hot tap and a cold tap. The reason why we've done the hot one is so when we want to fill up the hot tub, we don't have to put cold water in it and waste loads of energy trying to heat it. We can put hot water in and it's ready to go faster. 200 IQ. All right, so whatever the damage is that you're charging me for the tap, that and then what size feet are you? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've lifted up a row of landmines or I'm somehow discovering the venom. Oh my God, from Spider-Man. Look at it. Look at the veins of this tree in the ground. Oh, oh, it's, it don't want to go. It don't want to go. You're going, you bastard. You're going. You're bloody going, I'm telling you. Get out my swamp. Whoa. <laughs> and just like that, Houston, I think we have released another tree root from my path. Oh, yes. Tree root one, tree root two, and tree root three. They actually are getting bigger and bigger and bigger as we go along, but nothing now compares to that. Oh my gosh. All right, roll the clip of us cutting down that big conifer again. Whoa, let's fucking go! Yeah, that was a big old boy to fell. It's crazy to think I'm actually like uprooting it myself, but once I've got rid of all these big ones, I think we're gonna level this off just a little bit so I can access it and then rip out all these smaller roots, which should be pretty easy to do. <laughs> I am actually tempted to try and time-lapse this one because it's like the biggest last one left and it might take me an hour. So with the power of movie editing, maybe we can make it look like it comes out in like 30 seconds or less. I don't know, to 10. I think it's ready to go. Let's try and see if we can flip it. I might not be able to lift it because it's massive, so I might have to like chainsaw it down a bit. But if we can flip it, we've uh, we've dug it out. Well, it shift. Go on, stay down. No, there's too much dirt on it. It's still so heavy. Go on. No, that was so close. Oh, come 
my gosh, we did it. Oh, finally gotten the four big stumps out and it's half past three. <laughs> We've been doing it all day. <laughs> all right, so plan of action now. I'm gonna shuffle all that dirt off it, just like bang it around so it makes it easy to move. Try and lift it up out of there. Then I'm just gonna go along and dig out all these individual ones. These ones are probably gonna be a bit of a pain because they look quite small, but they're actually quite big uh, when they're all tied together. Gotta to rip them all out to there. These ones, and that'll be a job. Well done. I've gutted the wee bugger so it looks like a hairy cactus. Three something. But I'm gonna try and see if we can pull this thing out. Come on, come on. No, 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 don't let go, don't let go. Don't let go, don't let go. Come on, come on, come on, keep rotating, keep rolling. Roll, 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 roll. Yes! 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 Oh my God, I did it! All right, an absolute mad trail of destruction. <laughs> and uh, it's now five o'clock. I have been ripping out all the individual bushes and trees and holly bushes that were like dead and chopped down to the point where I've got this last little cluster here and uh, we are, we're done. Now, I'm obviously not the most experienced digger driver in the world, but I tell you something, it's so intuitive once you just switched in of like what to do and how to do it. Like I'll probably mess it up now that I'm on camera and talking, but man, I flew through this last section. It's just so easy just to pull them out and like return back into where you need to be precisely. Get this thing turned off, you absolute monster. Well done, Betsy too. Our next plan of action, even though this looks like the uh, the World War One, World War Two trenches, um, is to get all these roots picked up out the ground. So I'm going to slam my gloves on, throw them into a big pile. We're going to order a skip. We order the skip, throw that all in it. We then like level, level the, wound, uh, the ground out a bit more, get the trees down. We, I think there's, there's a word I can't cultivate. I think the the ground is. I think that's the word cultivate the ground which could be completely wrong um then we get some seed on it and we'll have a flush garden looking with new trees and all sorted but we might actually need some more dirt because uh the you know the amount of uh space we've taken from the ground but great success man absolutely great success great success if you can class this entire bomb site as a success it needed to be done and it's done and speaking of bomb sites, it's about time we take care of this office. It's an absolute mess and we need to fix it immediately. It has been shown no love and no respect ever since we've been working on the house next door and that needs to change. All right, so I think with the power of a time lapse, we'll get this layout changed. We'll get it looking clean and organized and we'll be rocking and a rolling. So this can only mean one thing. It is time lapse time. <laughs> time lapse interruption we have managed to get all the big items out of the room and placed into here which give you a perspective of how much stuff we're actually working with my next step from here is to hoover the floor get it all looking clean get everything off this surface and clean down the table and then what we're actually planning on doing is moving this desk rotating it against that wall to give us a kind of a new layer which i do not think i've actually done in this office or this room before but i think it could end up being like a pretty good layout i think we get another storage solution like this in the other corner some shelving to put like our memories on from like doing you know incredible maker wishes to storing william wallace like pop figures that fans have given me ron's watch from the travels that we've done the subscribe button artwork all that sort of stuff deserve a home up on the shelves but uh this is just a, still an absolute cluster mess so Let's get the time lapse back on track and let's get this rotated and cleaned up. And just like that, Alakazam! The new desk is in place. It's not new, it's old, I've had it for years. But the, new, the desk is in its new home. Beautiful. Well, that was the easy job. Taking everything off, emptying it, cleaning it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Time for the grindy part of putting it all back together. Do you not dare 
think about commenting about my cable management. It's awful, I know, I didn't care. I didn't care. But regardless, let's get it over. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, the setup is complete. Look at the room. We've got so much room for activities. We've got everything organized. This needed doing such a long time ago, but I've just been so caught up with the house next door and everything. But look at it. I'm absolutely loving the vibe. I've got a little stream corner here for in the background of my cameras. I've got a piece of artwork that my mum got me, which I've not yet put up on a wall because I don't know where to put it. But now if I place it there, you can actually see it in the background and it looks super fresh and gives it a bit of like, you know, a bit of screen time, which I'm loving. The whole desk setup has got purpose. We've got the Xbox, we've got the PlayStation, we've got the controls over here, we've got the wireless charging for the iPhone, we've got the mix amp, we've got the microphone, the stream deck, we've got the screen set up. Always have this picture wherever I'm streaming to remind me why I do what I do because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be wherever I am for day today. So, like, seriously. Always have that by my desk, no matter what. We've got the iPad on charge, ready to rock and roll for when I want to get, like, creative and get my work done. This is the most productive thing I think I've ever bought in my life. Like, not even capping right now. Life's too short, mate. The most of it, okay? We've got this over here, which is my little go-to, like, action station. We grab the passport. We grab the phone chargers. We grab Ron's watch for whenever we go away. And we got the GoPro to get going on an adventure whenever we need to. But look at it. I think it looks absolutely sick. We've got everything rocking, everything rolling. This is what I call a job well done. Yet again, wasting no time in getting shit done. But what I didn't show you. <laughs> oh, it's so messy. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not my problem. That's not my problem. Oh, my God. Wow, look at the setup. Fire extinguisher and all. We just, we, we, we don't, we don't need any of that. That is, that can, bye-bye, bye-bye. Just not, not my problem. Hey, listen, bro. I think you're about to be impressed. Yeah, I'm looking pretty fucking fresh. Yeah, looking pretty fresh, bro. Look at this, bro. What do you think? Do you, want any, do, do, do you want anything? You can take it with you, mate. It's all yours. Yep. yep. Take those speakers. Are, you, are you ready to see the reveal of my new office? Oh, what do you think? Bro! I know, right? That's fucking Mad sick. change, isn't it? <laughs> Get that on the wall. Exactly. I know. I actually like it there, though, because on the, on the camera, it picks it up and it looks sick. Yeah. You like? Mate. High five. Like it's oh, God. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Bro, this is fucking mad. Isn't that way better than how messy and shitty it was previously? You should, you know what, right? You said you were proud. You should be proud. Hey. Wasting no time. He's wasting shit. Wasting no time, bro. If you didn't know, go to syndicatevision.com. Oh, 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 it's available oh, in black oh, and white. You can oh, get the shorts. Oh, it comes in t-shirts. Oh, you oh, are hooked up. Why are you not wearing it? Because I am it! Now you might actually think that we're done with the setup right now, being finished, being complete, but the answer is no it's not. I've got some improvements coming that me and Orion are going to get ordered and I'm going to add it to it, which is going to look pretty damn slick. And speaking of looking pretty damn slick, we just dropped the brand new time collection at Syndicate Original, and like I said, I wanted to give some shout outs to some people who picked it up. So a big shout out to Daniel who picked up the new merch and said time waits for no one time to get shit done. I absolutely love it, brother. Thank you very much for your support. It's really appreciated. Kevin himself says, thanks, Chief. You're an absolute legend. And if you guys want to get some merch, you can get it down in the description below. SyndicateRidger.com. You know where to go. You know where to get it. And you guys can potentially get a shout out in one of my next vlogs if you tweet me a picture of you wearing the new merch. So alas, with me making you dizzy of Kevin just going on an absolute Madden, if you've not clicked that subscribe button right now, make sure you click subscribe, ding dong the notification bell, and leave a like rating because in the next video... Kevin's going to do a death-defying stunt, um, you will see me going on an adventure that involves kayaks, bridges, um, nearly losing my phone, and just a mad tunnel of doom and despair. Uh, so yeah, make sure you subscribe with notifications on to see that pan out. And at last, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys next time. Sadios. Oh my god, this is terrifying! <laughs>